So staying in this, this root position triad area, but adding other notes from, from the alphabet or the scale that, that can make the music a little more colorful. So your home bass was the blue, A, C, E triad, the first small three strings of your guitar. Um, we've already added in the G, G note, the low G and the high G. Now we can add in the pentatonic note. So the pentatonic ends up being five different letters. We're gonna add in the D note this time. So there's a D on fret three of the second string. So if you improvise, the pentatonic scale in this position. You've got the A. We also have the G on that third string open. A, G, A, C. Now we're adding in the D. That's the green one. E and G. It's a lot more color now. The D is green, so it tends to have um, a bit more of a colorful harmony. Maybe it doesn't match quite as much to the resolution of the blue A minor triad notes. So if we were to make a song out of this, we could jam around and make a pattern out of those notes. So there I'm doing some slides from the C to the D. The E and the G on the small string, I might do some pull-offs. When I end, I'm going to try to end on a, on a blue note. So that time I ended on C, so I matched minor chord when I ended, I ended on the blue. Because the blue is the match of the A minor triad. So this would be a pentatonic jam. It's an A minor pentatonic jam. But a lot of times when um, sometimes we learn the fretboard, we're not really thinking about which notes. Maybe you can hear it by ear, but sometimes seeing the visual concept of harmony, like what's resolved and what's tense can be really helpful. That's the whole idea of the the law of a game color theory. So blue and green are fairly resolved. Blue is the most resolved, right? So adding in some fun guitar tricks that make it kind of musical. Uh, you could do pull-offs, you could do slides, you could do vibratos, hammer-ons, any tricks, you know. But making it melodic, that sort of sounds like singing, we want to make some kind of phrase that sounds like talking. If I were to, if I were to say a question, so I'm trying to maybe match the syllables of my words, and then I would respond with, "Here is my answer." Um, even if it's not really training the voice, it's sort of training the guitar to sound like the voice, right? Because um, just constant plucking doesn't always sound like singing writing melodies, here's some really great tips, um, basically choosing different ingredients. The ACE triad was our first ingredient, the super resolved ones. Um, the ACEG, adds in that, what we call an A minor seven, it adds in the G, the seventh letter. Then the pentatonic adds in the D note. That pentatonic happens to be the fourth letter in the scale, A, B, C, D. So we're adding in that extra green note, the fourth. So it's got a lot of more color to solo around in. And the interesting thing is the pentatonic, it's just those letters, but like all over the fretboard. So those big charts that we have, they can be kind of overwhelming, but if you learn them in these little segments based around each triad, um, you can be really free to do lots of really fun uh, ways. And eventually you can link all these little boxes together and then you've got the whole fretboard but you're basing it around those main core harmonic elements, which is usually the chord. And in this case, we're dealing with the A minor triad in that first root position shape and all the fun scale notes around it for jamming.